Guys, the next young lady that's coming to the stage, I've had the pleasure of working with her many times, and I'm not trying to be, you know, weird about this or anything, but I always saw this comedian. She was always dressed so sharp, always nice to all the other comedians, man, very, very classy lady. I'm proud to call her my friend, plus she's funny and creative. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Elise Edwards, also known as E Square. Give it up for E Square, ladies and gentlemen. I have a lot of names. Elise Edwards, E Square, or you can just call me Wanda. Side. <laughs> People say I remind them of Wanda Sykes, but let me let you know what the similarities are and where they came. We're black, we're female, we're comedians. That's it. Because I gave birth to my own kids, which means I had sex with a guy. <laughs> and I don't do a lot of swearing, okay? Now before I go any further, if you happen to hear a whistle sound, you have to look around and see where it's coming from, see it's my new teeth. And I'm not quite used to them yet. So sometimes I forget to win. So one day I went to the store and this man was looking at me all funny and stuff. I said, I know it's not because I don't look good, because I look good, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he said, you know what? I gotta do the same thing you did. Pull out my teeth out of my ooh. <laughs> I got to pull out my teeth out of my ooh. <laughs> so now before I leave my apartment, I go, keys, teeth, okay, I'm straight. Now that same day, my man came over. So I let him in and I went run. He said, where are you going? So shortly after that, he was going, oh, oh, that is so smooth. So now before he comes, I'm over. He's like calling me, hey, two fairy. I got something to put under your pillow. So I'm a grandmother. I know I look good to be a grandma. The oldest one is 23. In addition to being a grandmother, I am proud to say I am a cougar. <laughs> and it's interesting because I have, you know, um, guys coming up to me after clubs and they say, hey, drop down to you. You want to hook up? I'm like, okay, you are too young for me uh -uh, because you can't be as young as my grandbaby or my kids. But I started being a cougar when I was 40. I had a lover half my age, so he was 20. My kids were 20 and 21 at the time. I was like, hmm, wow, am I gonna be contributing to the legacy of a minor? Let's see, guys reached their sexual peak at 18. He does have a job, because I met him at Kroger when he was bagging groceries. <laughs> Ooh. I am so glad I gave that 20 year old a chance. Whoa! He did things. Anyway, uh, but there are some challenges dating young men. Mary Ann spoke to that. But I'm going to give you some specifics. He lived in his grandma's basement. He did have a vehicle. And when we went out, he was carded. So I had to order that. You know, but I was minor, not a big deal. But you know, he got real familiar with me. You know, he got too comfortable. You heard the term familiarity to breeds contempt. Yeah. He got beside me. He got his role. His role was just to, you know, take care. Uh, so he would say stuff to me like, how come you don't have cable? I'm like, okay, hold up here. Let me tell you. I travel 60% of the time for my job, so I don't need cable. They kind of pay me to watch cable. So, uh, you mean you don't have any video games? <clears throat> okay, sweetie, I'm telling My kids don't live here. I don't need things. But this is what was the straw that broke the hands back. And one night I finally got to sleep, right? <clears throat> He's nudging me, nudging me. I'm like, I want to eat. I'm like, can we just do that? Oh my gosh, you know, I got to get up early, take you home before I go. He said, I'm not talking about that. I mean, I want some food. I'm like, oh. Okay. Um, I said, well, you better go in the kitchen because I got plenty of food. And he said, uh-uh, I want you to take me. I'm like, oh, you want me to get up? 
get dressed and take you somewhere? Oh, mm. so I said, okay, it's time to end this relationship. So I ignored his calls. And one day he come ringing my bell. I'm like, oh my goodness, he must have caught the bus and had a friend drop on something. But I better let him in before he gets too crazy. So he came in. You know that story, ladies. You know that line. It's not you. It's me. Boo boo, this is not working. Next thing you know, he grabbing me by the throat. I'm like, oh no. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to call the popo. -po. You better get on up out of here. So, I don't mess with 20 year olds anymore. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm 59. So you, have to, so you have to at least be 50. But I cut it off at 55. And, you know, there are some people who still use my space. So all you little freaky deaky white 20 year old boys want me to do some stuff with you on my space. <laughs> Been there, done that. Besides, I'm high maintenance. I ain't saying I'm a gold digger. I'm just saying, I break down a lot. So I need lubrication and a screwdriver every now and then. So um, if you can't do any of that, don't even push up on E Square. That's what time. Holla. E-squared, ladies and gentlemen. She's going to be back real soon. I love working with E-squared. Now, next.